Rustic Buddies! What's up? So as you can see, this is not a fishing hunting video. It is a fish video though. It's been a hot second since we've done a cooking video. So we are going to do a Willow Walleye episode. We found a recipe we're going to try out for, what is this? Honey coated? Honey coated fried walleye. Here is everything you need. Ritz crackers, oil, egg, honey, and of course we have some uh, Lake St. Clair walleye. So we're going to test this recipe out and see if in fact it does walleye. <laughs> okay, so I put some Ritz in the bag, pressed them all up, that's going to be our breading, and then we noticed the recipe didn't give a specific measurement for honey, so... My honey over here just dumped a whole bunch in here. I just squirted a whole ton in there. So you're gonna put the honey with the egg. You're gonna dip the walleye in the honey egg and then in with the Ritz to coat it. And then this is a fried walleye recipe, so we're gonna be pan frying it, so. Should I taste it? You can taste raw egg on camera. Anything for views, right? <laughs> Anything for those views. <laughs> Smells, smells right. Does it smell like honey and eggs? Yeah, it does oh. smell like honey and eggs. I wonder why. I wonder why it would possibly smell that way. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Right. So, dump the walleye in the honey. Honey egg mixture. That looks. I don't know. It looks like a honey egg mixture. I don't think it's supposed to look any other way. <laughs> And then once they're nice and coated, they're gonna go in our shaky bag here because we remembered to buy gallon sized bags this time and get all coated in Ritz crackers. Yep. And then we have our cast iron frying pan heating up on the stove. Got a little bit of oil in there. Please ignore my uh, grease pan from bacon. From bacon. It's like six degrees outside. Normally we dump it outside in the garden. Can't do that right now because it's six degrees out. So anyway, just ignore it. <laughs> All right, walleye in the bag. That's not hot enough yet. <laughs> not yet. If it, but don't burn it. All right, let's see how this goes. All right. Time to shake, 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 shake your walleye. Something like that, right? Yeah, right. something like that. Just want to get the mixture evenly coated on the fish. It's pretty much just like any other breaded walleye recipe you've ever seen, except that we put a bunch of honey in our egg. Yep. And then you're going to shake it up. Get it all super coated. Yep. And once our oil's hot enough, it's gonna go into the pan. And we're gonna serve this with, I have onion rings and coleslaw to serve this with because it's six degrees outside, but we want a nice fish fry to make us think of summer and all the warm times. Okay. That's pretty good. Some of that into it. They look like little walleye chunks, little breaded walleye chunks. We'll see. Hey, look at that into the fryer they go to get golden crispy brown. Ooh, it smells delicious. Oh my gosh, that smells so good, guys. See that? It's not gonna take very long at all. Nope. Probably I'm like gonna... a couple minutes here at most. We got our onion ring. Yeah. Alright guys, mix up the taste. Okay guys, we took our walleye out. It did get, it looks a little darker on camera. It's not nearly that dark, but it did brown up. It got pretty dark, just I think it's the crackers that are gonna do that, but yeah. It looks a lot darker on camera, but it's pretty much brown. Nice crispy, there's our onion rings. We're gonna go to the taste. That didn't take long at all. That probably took, what, two minutes maybe? Five minutes. Three minutes? I don't know. It didn't take long at all, so if you make it... That's because we make... I make my piece of small We do, one. yeah. We do have small walleye nuggets. We've gotten a lot of comments, kind of people being mean about that, but you know what? We cut our fillets up small to make basically walleye nuggets. Do what you want. Cut them up how you want. We don't care. They That's cook how quicker. we like it. 
It cooks quicker. I don't know. It's how we like it. So whatever. All right. We're eating it and forgive the fact that we eat on our couch like it is where we have the best lighting to film this and most of the time we watch TV while we eat but whatever. Okay, honey, Ritz, crusted, walnut. What do you think? It's pretty good. I tried it. I thought it was pretty good. Tastes kind of similar to the, now you're just going to watch Kurt eat coleslaw. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it, amazing food. It tastes pretty similar to the... um honey mustard pretzels that like that Ritz gives it kind of a unique flavor and you still taste the fish but it's not like really yeah. overly sweet is it it's got a real light real honey light flavor yeah it's pretty good honey I like scent. it I think I definitely add this to our rotation of a uh, walleye recipe since we eat a lot of fish yeah so good. what do you what do you think Kurt will it walleye yeah yes it will walleye. It will. It will walleye. So I will put the recipe down below. I will put all, basically the measurements we use since it didn't necessarily say how much. We squared a whole bunch of. Honey, a lot of honey. And uh, sorry you're watching Kurt eat here, but we're going to devour this. And uh, thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit. And uh, that's it. We'll see you soon, guys, as always. Stay rustic, my friends.